All right, so the next thing we're going to do is clean up our model a little bit. We're gonna, we have um, one, two, three, four, five separate pieces here. And what we wanna do is make one object out of these pieces. So we're gonna be joining uh, some, or joining these together. So what you can do is select, <clears throat> let's select this main fuselage and let's click on uh, the modifiers for this. Hold on, let me drag this out a little there and click on the modifiers for this object, which is cylinder, uh, just cylinder. And let's add a Boolean modifier. And we're going to do a union of two objects, which is going to be this and the arm. And that cube is, I believe, is, is just cube. So it's that one. And let's hit apply and then we're going to delete the original cube which is this one in there just hit x and delete and you can see the effect uh, and then if you right click on that hit the z button it'll give you the wireframe uh, view and you can see i'm using my two fingers to sort of pan and rotate stuff around if you hold the shift button down it will Move it left and right, up and down. If you just um, use your two fingers and just um, drag down or drag left and right, it will rotate on the X and the Y axis or the Z axis. Sorry. And if you hit the control button, you can actually zoom in, then pan out, and then rotate. And you can see this part of the. Um, the mesh that the cube and the fuselage joined together pretty well. It's pretty clean. All right, so let's hit Z again, go back out. We hit one to view from the front. And <clears throat> what I can do next is, let's figure out what, what this one is. This is cylinder 001. So now we need to merge this uh, piece with that. So we'll do another modifier. Add a modifier, a Boolean. It's going to be a union of of the main object and cylinder 001 hit apply and then let's take cylinder 001 and delete that by hitting X delete now we have a good piece here as well hit the Z and we can see what's going on there and then next um, we're now this is one way to sort of make a ship and sort of make it a little bit uniform but we can do mirroring as well uh, I'm not going to show it for this um, demo because it's going to take a little bit more time, but I want to get to the texturing part. All right, so next is um, we have this main piece. Now we need to merge it with this guy. So this one, this cube is cube 001. So we'll click on, right click on the main ship there. And let's do add another modifier, a Boolean, and do union. Let's do cube 001, hit apply, and then we'll take cube 001 and delete that, X. <clears throat> and then just take a, a look at the wireframe, it looks clean. And back there again, let's do the same thing for the last cylinder. Right click on the main ship, add a Boolean modifier do a union between that and cylinder 002, hit apply, and then delete cylinder 002, and do, I guess you can right click and delete, but I usually just hit X here, delete. And <clears throat> all this is in preparation for texturing. We need one object in order to uh, apply a texture to um, the, the ship. So. This is a pre-texture uh, cleanup. Hit save and do, I'll go ahead and export the Collada file and hit it here. Notice it's red there, just hit enter and that will overwrite the existing Collada file. And we can run it here uh, just for fun. We can inspect the Collada file again, basic ship.dae and we see that there's only one piece now. So if we hit run, it should still be good All right, and let's do, and you can still hit 
uh, click and drag the ship around, it's still good.